Right now I'm at the Otter Inn in Västerås in Sweden and this is basically a floating little cottage. Uh, I think that's what I can call it. But it's not only a floating cottage or cabin, it's actually like an underwater cottage cabin. There is a staircase downstairs and that's where you sleep. So you're basically sleeping underwater. Okay, and I know that sounds so confusing. It's very confusing to explain it to you guys, but I'm gonna show you. So this hotel is called The Other Inn in Västerås in Sweden. It's about two hours from Stockholm. It's a city that's known for its industrial industries. It's located right by Mälaren, which is Sweden's third biggest lake and it's a pretty big lake. Sweden is famous for its lakes and I think if you want to come and visit Sweden that is something that you really should try to explore, Sweden's lakes. And I think one of the coolest thing about this hotel is that you do have like a terrace around the whole like cottage or um, like cabin. Uh, so you have kind of like a panoramic view around the whole like sea. And that's pretty amazing. So you have like a view in every direction you go and it's pretty calming. I'm not sure if you're used to water, but just hearing the sound of the waves and having water all around you, you're probably gonna get really seasick if you are prone to getting seasick. But for me that actually like water, so this is very calming and relaxing. So we booked this cabin for one night and it was about 3,500 kroner. And what we didn't know when we booked this was that you have to get like a boat ride here, which is included in the price, but they only offer to take you here and take you back, which means that you're gonna have to spend 24 hours on this little floating boat. And we kind of expected it to be like uh, like an inflatable boat here that you can use and go into shore, but <laughs> that doesn't really exist. So you're gonna spend 24 hours on this little uh, co floating cottage. So the cottage is really cute, but it's very small. It has a little gasoline stove with like pots and a kettle and it also has like a toilet, but it's kind of like a simple toilet. So it's kind of like a mix between a toilet and a porter potty. Um, but it also has like a little uh, pantry. It has some uh, silverware, like glasses, like wine glasses, cups and plates and stuff like that. But again, it's very simple. So it's basically like camping on a little like floating cottage. <laughs> So when you first enter the cabin, you come to like the main room or living room. Uh, it has a huge hole in the ground, which you can like lift up to get to like the downstairs, like underwater bedroom. So when you go downstairs, there's two beds and there's also four underwater windows. And there's a lot of fish actually hanging out like outside of the windows. We were surprised of how many fish are actually around the boat. So you actually get a lot of interaction with the marine life. I, I'm kind of guessing that people that stay on this floating cottage do feed them because they want to see the fishes. So we got like fishes for free because we haven't fed the fishes yet. Well, a little bit actually. But that was a pleasant surprise because I did not expect to see that much fish like downstairs in the bedroom. So in the cabin there's also cleaning supplies like this soap, there's toilet paper, like various like cleaning supplies. Uh, there's also inflatable toys such as a floating ring and an inflatable mattress. And in the small pantry there's like stuff like salt, like coffee and like small essential stuff that you might need. So I'm gonna show the little kitchen that's here on the floating cottage. Uh, here's the gas stove which has like a pot, a kettle and like some lids. And it also has like another smaller pot down there. It has some candles there and like an electric uh, stove, which is wet at the moment. Um, and here's the water that the person is bringing here that's taking you here, uh, that's driving the boat. It's 10 liters, so you actually will have a quite a lot of water. We brought extra just in case because we're big water drinkers. And in here is some like miscellaneous stuff like cleaning supplies, there's like a serious knife here if something would happen and um, yeah basically like things that I think they're using like rope and stuff like that just in case you would need that but yeah it's a very simple kitchen but it has yeah basically everything that you need. Up here is the fire extinguisher which is always good to have just in case and some swimming glasses or and if you want to go to the bathroom, there is this little curtain here that you can close so you get some privacy. But yeah, this is the toilet. And over the toilet, there's a little cabinet. Oh my God. And here there's just like some 
like spray for <laughs> like a good smell, some like trash bags, some things for cleaning and yeah. And here we have the silverware in quotation marks because all of this is actually made of plastic, which is great because if anything breaks uh, uh, when you're at sea, like that's a pretty, uh, has like it's hazardous. So everything is made of plastic. Uh, you have like wine glasses, you have cups, you have like bowls and two plates. Uh, basically everything in twos and you also have like this shelf and a bunch of toilet papers like here you have cleaning supplies if you want to clean or if something like spills or anything like that um but they don't did you don't have any like hand soap so if you want to wash your hands or something like that i would really recommend to bring some hand soap uh, and obviously you would have actually to make your dishes and like do your dishes uh in the lake because like there's no not really any running water or any like big uh, bowls or anything like that that you can do your dishes in and regardless you would kind of have to dump it in the sea or in the toilet so then we have the small little pantry which actually has more things than i thought it would uh it has some coffee some like spices there is a lot of matches here so if you want to light some candles since there's just two lamps like in the bedroom you might want to like light some candles at night it has a bunch of teas like sugar um whatever this is uh like salt <laughs> this woman that took us here actually bought us some candy and up here is the what is it called? The utilities um so like the silverware and everything like that so it looks like some butter knives some spoons like two knives and two forks and like uh i don't know if you guys know what this is it's like for cutting cheese and also a scissor a wine opener and just like a little bit of everything that you need. So I think the main thing that you should think about if you book this hotel or like a little floating ca cabin is that you will only get like a ride out here in the morning when like the check-in is and also uh, the next day when the check-out is. So you are gonna be here for 24 hours. So you have to plan for that. So if it's not in this cabin, you need to bring it. Uh, we actually had the pleasure to get a ride with the wonderful woman Maria that was super flexible. She actually warned us that the, there could be like some thunder and also like a lot of rain today. So she actually gave us the option to reschedule without like any further cost. So that was super appreciated. So I'm very happy that they are willing to work with the customers that are booking this boat because it is kind of expensive so it's very appreciative especially with the Swedish weather that it, they are flexible and willing to work with the guests that are gonna stay here however we decided to not reschedule because we are from Sweden and we are used to the weather and the Swedish weather are very unpredictable so bring a raincoat just in case because like the Swedish weather like I said is a little bit unpredictable like today it said it would rain and also thunder but it hasn't done either of those things it actually is pretty sunny but overall I I think this is a super cute and cozy hotel uh it's so unique i have actually never heard anything like it so if you do want to come to sweden and visit i would definitely recommend this hotel because it has a lot of swedish element and i haven't seen any hotel like this uh any other place in the world either uh yeah i think it's super relaxing and you definitely have like a bunch of boats going around you which is typical Sweden too. Uh, I think something to expect though is that there is a lot of boats here because there is a, like a few marinas around here and there's a lot of boats going past pointing and waving. <laughs> so you're getting I don't know if like we're a tourist attraction at this point but uh yeah, I guess it's nice. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, that was everything for the Otter Inn hotel tour or floating boat cabin tour. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to call it, but I guess technically this is a hotel. I'm gonna link everything that you need to know to like book this hotel tour in the description box below. So if you wanna stay here, do so. I had a great time and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.